Hi friends, uh, welcome to Cruise Biology. Today we are talking about the nitrogen assimilation in which uh, nitrogen assimilation is consist of, consist of uh, nitrate assimilation and nitrate assimilation. Now first of all, uh, what is the nutrient assimilation? The incorporation of the mineral nutrients into the organic substance like pigment, enzyme cofactors, lipids, nucleic acid and amino acid is called as a nutrient assimilation. Assimilation of the some of the nutrients like uh, nitrogen and sulfur, it requires the series of biochemical reactions where it is the most energy requiring reactions in all uh, living organisms. <coughs> now first, uh, what uh, in the nitrate assimilation, the nitrogen is converted into the first NO3 in the nitrate form. Then NO3 is converted into the nitrite form, NO2 form, NO2 minus. And then the nitrite is converted into the ammonia and ammonia is converted into the amino acid. This is the overall reaction of the nitrogen assimilation. Now, the nitrate is absorbed by roots and the assimilation of the nitrate into the organic nitrogen compound by uh, plants. The enzyme requires that is the nitrate reductase to convert the NO3 into the NO2. And here it, uh, NADPH means either NAD or NADP or NADH used as an electron donor. In the most common uh, nitrate reductase, it, it uses the NADH as an electron donor. Now the nitrate, nitrate reductase here you can see it, it is a, actually dimer. In the dimer there is a three subunit. First is FAD, then HEME and third one is the molybladen complex. The importance of the molybladen complex you can see that it is the the enzyme is uh, main molybdenum containing protein in uh, vegetative tissues. If there is a deficiency of the molybdenum, then accumulation of the nitrate. So the molybdenum is the most important molybdenum com uh, molybdenum complex is most important in the nitrate re uh, reductase enzyme. The electrons from the NADH is transferred from the FAD, then HEME domain and uh, molybdenum complex domain and transfer the, the two, uh, two electrons. At the end terminus, there is a reduction, reduction of the nitrate into the NO2. There is a regulation of the this enzyme, three factors that regulate the uh, uh, enzyme. First, that is a nitrate, light and carbohydrates. The availability of the nitrate, light and carbohydrates that influence at the transcription and translation level. Now the nitrite NO2 is highly reactive and toxic to the plant. So the plant is transferred from the cytosol to chloroplast either in leaves or in roots in the plastic. The main enzyme to convert the NO2, NO2 into the ammonia that is uh, nitrite reductase. Remember this friends uh, because the enzyme is confusing in the nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase. The enzyme nitrite reductase reduces the nitrite NO2 into the ammonia by the these reactions. Here the FD into the reduced state and uh, here here F -E FD in oxidized state. Now the light is from the electron from the chloroplast in that is transferred from the ferredoxin reduced into the oxidized state 
and the nitrite reductors that convert the nitrite into the ammonia. If you see the structure of the nitrite reductors, it consists of the iron sulfur cluster and the heme group. From the iron sulfur cluster, the electron transferred from from this cluster to the heme group, and then the nitrite is converted into the ammonia. Now the ammonia that is converted into the uh, amino acids by the enzymes glutamine synthetase. The glutamate is converted into the glutamine by the glutamate synthetase, and the enzyme now glutamine synthetase glutamine that convert into the glutamate by the enzyme NADH gogate and FADH gogate. Gogate means glutamate synthase. Now the amino acid from the ammonia by the enzyme it is convert into the ammonia acid from the ammonium ion. And these amino acids are used in the formation of the proteins. Thank you friends for uh, watching these videos. If you like our videos then hit the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you.